memberships, people. We have memberships. We have memberships. Did you hear me? We have memberships. Hey, everybody. Today, I'm really excited to show you the easiest way to integrate memberships into your RapidWeaver websites. Now, before I do that, let me back up and give you a little bit of backstory in terms of what's going on here. So for the past few years, I've really been focusing on conquering the biggest desires of the RapWeaver community, right? Out of that came the foundation theme, total CMS, right? Now, the next thing I wanted to tackle was membership sites and user logins for your RapidWeaver sites. I could have spent six months developing my own solution that integrated seamlessly into RapidWeaver. However, there are so many other things that I wanted to do that I thought I should look at some other solutions out there. Because for years, advanced RapidWeaver users have been using a piece of software called SiteLock. So what I did was last year, I decided to use SiteLock for the Weaver Space Conference. And I'm glad that I did. Because it allowed me to give the attendees their own logins to the site. I can manage groups. I could email them, I can have contact forms, right? It really was a full-blown user management and membership system for RapidWeaver. Now you might be asking, why am I watching this video, Joe, if SiteLock exists? Well, SiteLock isn't designed just for RapidWeaver, right? It is a general piece of software that you can install on your server, and then you'd have to integrate with RapidWeaver using some code snippets. To get that to work, you'd have to flip through the manual and find the exact code snippets that you want. And we all know reading through manuals isn't any fun, right? We all want stuff just to work. Now, once you have these code snippets, you have to figure out where exactly in RapidWeaver to actually put them. And then there could be potentially issues previewing your page with these code snippets, right? And this is why it was really meant for kind of the pro RapidWeaver users. Now, this is where I come in. What I wanted to do was I wanted to make it easy for the average RapidWeaver user to integrate SiteLock into RapidWeaver. And that's exactly what I've done with these stacks. All you need to do is add the stacks to the page, change the settings to what you would want, and it will work seamlessly within RapidWeaver and on your published web page. We've also added some logic on top of SiteLock to make things even better. With the Visilock stack, you can actually determine what content can be seen by users when they're logged in, when they're logged out, if they're a part of a particular user group, right? So there are a lot of great features that are just for the site lock stack users. So I'm really excited to see the websites that you can start building now with site lock and RapidWeaver, and even integrating things like total CMS into it. It's just gonna blow your mind in terms of the power of what we can do with RapidWeaver now. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoy these stacks and we'll see you later. Bye.